Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3, which is, I believe, now the penultimate episode. So, if you watched the uh, bonus episode, which is just me doing all the side quests, you'll see that I did almost all the side quests. The last two suck. Um, gotta say, the difficulty of the game really did not impact those side quests whatsoever, because all of them are just go here, find this item that's 10 feet outside my door, and then come back. Or some variation therein. They're really uninspired in terms of side quests. I really feel like they're just another thing that's here to, like, fill up time. Like, Ubisoft had this whole island commissioned, ready-made, and then they were like, well, fuck! You gotta put things in it. You know, you get the feeling that they didn't think it through all the way. Um... I spent a couple hours last night looking for all the goddamn little relics. I'm up to like 70 something now. I might not even be there. There they are, 68. And I'm missing six letters, but I'm halfway done on the relics. Almost done on these. I've only got a few of the missions left. You may have also seen my loot rucksack is full of uh, 72 or so uh, green leaves. Because every time I see one, I'll just get it. So I'm probably not in any danger of running out. I thought I was, but it turned out that I was very wrong. And that's why I have 72. Because in addition to not being in any danger of running out, in the first place, I was also like, well, I better grab a bunch of extra just to make sure I never run out, and I won't. I probably never need to loot another green herb ever again. Which is, again, another gameplay decision that I think is kind of weird. Because at some point, you're going to get so many of these fucking things that it's going to be irrelevant, you know? It's a, it's a chore to go, go and get more. And sometimes you're just, at some point you're going to end up with, like, like I have, seven of these damn things. And then what, you know? Like, I could start downing things like, these things like tap water. That'd be fine. You've served very well, doing the buggy. Got a whole bunch of new guns. And you know, some old standbys. This is the place. Time to get some picks of the leaders. Some picks. Oh boy. I'm sure this is gonna be fun. I was already in this valley earlier to go find a side quest. And it was really bad and annoying, so... I'm not entirely sure of what I should expect. I like how those birds hovered in the air for a little. I mean, yeah, I kind of figured... Again, this is one of those things where stealth is just kind of weird, considering you are essentially invisible. Oh, yeah, I already did go through part of this, this place here. Is this a little silly, you think? Here's a good place to watch. Hope it doesn't rain. Like this feels like busy work to me, you know? There we go. That's 
the roll sheet. Gotta get my hands on it. How do you know? Gotta find something to blow that truck so he can't get away. Oh boy. This ought to be fun. Get your leg up there, Jace. Come on. Excuse me, everyone. Uh, we'll swap this. Actually, oh, do I have time? I probably don't. How's it going? See, this isn't good. I mean, for me. I'm glad to get a shootout. Not entirely sure of where I'm going from here. Damn. Okay. Gotta get my hands on it. This time, let's get rid of this thing, I'm thinking. You can't, uh, you can't heal during this, huh? When you're gliding? That's, uh, that's trouble. This is just a minor thing, but whenever you go to move after you've, um, after you've landed in the water, you can't move. You have to release the W key and then hit it again. It's a little odd is all. So did I like, is this the wrong way or? Also, who is seeing me? Oh, that guy who's a billion feet away. And also doesn't have a sniper rifle or really anything ranged. He's got a shotgun for God's sake. Let's creep through the grass, huh? And there's that healing bug again. Like, the way that this game handles inputs is honestly kind of strange sometimes. Anyway, um, on the topic of the good old good old side quests, most of them are really boring. Like, they're so just fetch quests. They're just go here, do this one thing. The one where you have to get the guy's medicine and he sends you out of the same shack three times. That was awful. That is... That is, like, pretty much everything I can think of off the top of my head that is wrong with game design. Like, that mission sucked. Like, it's poorly written. It's got an annoying NPC. Hey, is this still a stealth kill? Why not, you know? <laughs> Hup. Now, let's ignore the fact that a fall from that height, even if it's into water, would still be very painful and possibly deadly. And you know what? Let's let's completely ignore that. Let's not even uh, let's not even talk about that. I like how I don't have to drive. I just have to get here.
job, car. So there's something odd now as well. Because I've completely cleared the island of pirates and privateers, there's very little to do here. There's almost no enemies actually roaming the island. And once I clear these missions, there will be even less enemies. All I really have to do is go look for the items that I'm missing, which is, you know, not very inspired. Um, I'm probably still going to do it just for the clout. But, like, I'm not juiced about that. Jesus. How goes the mission to kill Hoyt? I'm stronger than ever. Let Citra know that he's as good as mine. Do not worry. I am always at Citra's side. Don't make it weird or anything, Dennis. Is there a door here I should be using, or...? Like, I was already at this compound earlier, and I didn't really figure out what I was supposed to do here. And I figured I would probably come back to it, because it's probably for a mission. Maybe if I just circumnavigate the whole thing, I'll figure out what I'm meant to do. Oh, is this the gate? No, wait, have I circumnavigated it already? How can this be? Yeah, I've gotten every radio tower, which, as I said, oh, here, this gate. Duh. Put on your best poker face. You get one shot at this. Come. Hey. This is Foster. Ah. Thank you, Sam. Take a cigarette break. You. Sit. Where's this list of traitors on your photos? Here. Here. Jason's growl voice. Huh. That's great work, kid. Yeah, join me for a celebratory cohiba. That was quite a show down there. I don't really smoke. Oh, you're concerned about cancer. <laughs> That's goose shit. Cancer won't be what kills you. Doc, you look like you want to be in my inner circle, Foster. But you know, I can read people. You? You're a floater. You jump from job to job and never commit. Nothing satisfied me yet. Uh, well, do you know the real secret to keeping employees happy? Fear. So, hobbies. Cooking, painting, movies, crystal meth. What are yours? I like to hunt. Hmm. I'm a hunter myself. The noblest of professions. But you know, I like to hunt real game. I can offer you travel to slave markets in Rio, Hong Kong, New York. This is a global enterprise. Globalization is the future. Bringing things from far away to me. Look at American industry. They put a one, two, three on a contact lens, so when I'm going to place it in my eye, I can tell whether it's inside out. Now, why one, two, three, and not A, B, C? <laughs> that way, they can export it around the globe and straight to me. And guess what happens when I'm wearing it? You don't see the one, two, three? Isn't that fucking amazing? That's progress right there. That is civilization. But you know, some guys, they just don't get it. You see that boat out there? I'm hurling it and the people on board for ransom. But the customer, he just doesn't want to negotiate outside country lines. Ah. See, I prefer 
the European recording. The brass sections in American orchestras to bombastic. I'd like you to do for me. I have a prisoner downstairs. I want you to find out who he is, who his benefactors are, then I want you to beat him until he can't stand up. I'll send Sam with you. All right. Uh, I'll keep my eye on the camera feed. I so rarely get to watch another professional at work. So that's Hoyt. We get a proper, you know, cutscene with him. Um. Don't you fucking eyeball me, boy. <laughs> Dude, I'm Foster. I'm Australian for beer. Who thinks he's special because Hoyt talked to him? Hoyt talks to a lot of guys, new recruit. Things are starting to get interesting. Scuttlebutt says that Voss is dead. Some kid named Jason Brody popped him. So yeah, we're starting to see um, Hoyt is another parallel to Jason Brody. You're with Sam? Hey, motherfuckers hardcore. You hardcore fish? You gotta be to keep fish. Up with Sam the motherfucking man. You know, Sam and man don't really mind. That island is as good as mine, and no one's gonna stop me. The pirates lost their psychotic leader. They'll be even more unpredictable now. Jeez, this place is so cheerful. I'm the king of the world! How did Hoyt get that? He's not coming to my pilot ceremony next month. Dude, you know your brother's always doing his own shit. Right? Uh, yeah! No coconut for you. Hey, hey, I thought Doug said there weren't people on the island. Andy off! Get them! Everybody run! Help! Let go of me! Get them in the truck! Anyway, that is what right there you would call a foreshadowing. This way. How does this end? You do it, and I trust you. Believe your own lies. And remember, smile. You're on camera. Here's a prisoner for interrogation. So yeah, Riley's not dead. That's how Hoyt got that. Who are you? What's your name? What? Your name? The... Riley Brody! Oh, God. Who brought you to this island? My brother. Where is Jason now? Where? I don't know. Does he think you're dead? Ask the questions. Where are the four people he stole? I don't know. I just, I just want to get out of here. The camera has been suspended on loop for 38 seconds. Riley. What, Jason? You're alive. What, what the fuck? Are you with them? No, I'm getting you out. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, well, where's Grant? Long story. Here, but I am. 26 seconds. Okay, we're leaving now. Dying. If you do that, you, you might as well shoot him yourself. We must sabotage. Would kill Hoyt! You and I distract the guards, Riley runs. But dying, he will never make it out of the Jeez, building. Listen to him, okay? I can't move from here, man. Nine seconds. You must hurt him, or Hoyt will know. What? Five seconds. Look, just do it, okay? I can take it. Just, just please promise you'll come back for me, okay? So you also even have to do it. Riley's kind of a champ for, like, taking it. He's like, yeah, man, just do it. Get it over with. This one's extreme. So 
So yeah, how like again we've had the whole theme of like how far is Jason willing to go, and then he kind of ruins it by being like, "What did I do?" But like yeah, Jason is willing to torture his own brother. And granted, his brother's like. <laughs> I need a drink. Granted, the brother in question is like, yeah, you know, go ahead. Hey, great work getting his name. Inspired use of the carrot and the stick. <laughs> I got a good feeling about you, kid. Listen, I want you to come and play some poker with me. Sam, you're also invited. We'll discuss business. Let me know when. I'm free anytime. Good. Beautiful. I'll make sure Sam gives you the information. Poker night! <laughs> so yeah, in my opinion, of the three like crazy wacko villains, I think Hoyt is dead. Possibly the best. Cause Voss is too crazy and Buck is so base. And then we explode his fuel depot. It's a chaos in his Gestapo. Will allow us to execute him at the poker game. Save Riley. That's the school, yeah? Yeah, very. Meet me at the fuel depot after pulling the plug on the comm center. This will render Hoyt's men deaf and dumb, yeah? <sighs> Nothing like a good classic death mute. Death mute, I should say. Oh, yeah. I like how it flips in between find it and fuck it. Oh yeah. Alright, where are we at? Hey, don't get cocky. That last contact we had, that island is as good as mine. No one's gonna stop. We're better than Riley Brody. Little brother. Wait, hold on. I got a really weird... Was it this? Okay, so for some reason there was a weird bug where I, I got the... I, I looked at the... <laughs> the the description for the chicken in the, in the lore menu and it gave Sam's thing. Like, and so under... It's like, chicken! I sent them into the jungle. They never came back. Those who did. They remember the same. I'll never remember that day and what I did to those people. And and it just says a picture of a fucking chicken, and that's what it says for chicken. It was so weird. I didn't know it was a bug. That was kind of hilarious. I wish I would have screenshot it now. I did that while I was uh, off camera, running around grinding shit. There was this one. Um, there was this one thing that I probably tried like thirty to forty times to get. Oh, can I quick travel here? It's uh, two kilometers away. Yeah, so most of them I think are still up here on this island. Because here I didn't have the glider, so I couldn't get anything, you know, related to gliding. Alright. Where are we at? Oh yeah, huh. See, so, yeah, I'm nearly done with all of these. Yeah, I've got all that. Yep. What about you? All right. That's all done. So I'm just working through the paint on this thing. Paint job, and then it's down to here. I've got very little to actually go on that as well. So good. Hopefully this tree won't take me out. Alright, I'm the one to plug Hoyt's phones. 
He's got fantastic coverage by this rock. Must be a restricted area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is gonna help. So yeah, we still gotta be stealthy in here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm basically legless. Um, I finished the tattoo. Um, I don't know if I brought this up, but I feel like the uh, level cap in this game is actually really low. Like, it's kind of weird. Well, geez, huh? They went that plan. The stores are made of steel. Explosives will do the trick. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. But yeah, I, I always feel like the uh, the level cap in this game is actually pretty low, considering. And you unlock, um... Because the thing is, I had 30 missions left, and I did some of the side quests and some of the, like, finding random objects. And I unlocked everything. I finished it. So, like, it's one of these things where there's, like, so much stuff in the game itself... I love how polite he is. Just hello, Sam. Just a very polite hello. Yeah. This must be a restricted area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. And if you would have been playing, you would have already known that. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot more guys in here than I initially anticipated. Keep him away from the bunker. Who away? No one knows I'm here. Besides, like, that guy. But, you know, he's not going to be sharing for reasons obvious. This area reminds me of an area in Metal Gear Solid 5. It's one of the really, really big areas towards the end. Where's this guy heading? Interesting. What the? Whoa. Don't let him get the that was a little wonky, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I should. He like he should have just died when I stepped on his head. But uh, yeah, that didn't happen for some reason. Who is? Is it me? How could you possibly know I'm headed for the bunker? Yeah, for whatever reason, this is really reminiscent of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 to me. Keep him away from the bunker! Who is that? Who is that? It's 
So there's some dude up here. Sure is. Luckily, the bushes. They'll hide me in my bright yellow outfit. Okay, so they're just saying that randomly. Like, they're not actually referring to anyone. They're just like, if anyone were to come here and attempt to get within our bunker, they wouldn't. They, they sh don't tell them to do that. That's bad. He's for the bunker. Okay, but they are really saying he's heading for the bunker. Like, I'm already on my way. Which is just kind of weird. Oh, sounds like someone just discovered a corpse. That's the, the, what the hell means. Alright, they don't know what's up. They definitely know what's up. They definitely know. Fucking man! Alright, yeah. So yeah, um, difficulty hasn't been too high in the past few recordings because all the side missions are real easy. Hello, Sam. In order to halt the communications between the privateers, you must blow the satellite dish. Pass through the bunkers underneath. D4 placed on the struts will be the only way. Then you need a lift out. The fuel depot can wait. I will come pick you up. We'll save some C4 for that big metal door blocking the bunker entrance. Yeah. This must be a restricted hmm. area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. Now hunker down. Nice, nice. Wait, do I still have? I don't. Do I? I do. What? They don't know where I am. These guys don't know exactly my location. Okay, let's try a different approach. The only thing I really need to worry about, I feel, are the snipers. Here, right? The fuel depot can wait. I will come pick you up. We'll mm. save some C4 for that big metal door blocking the bunker entrance. Yeah. Yeah. This must be a restricted area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. We know, Jason. There's one. Cold machete into your trachea? Probably not what you meant, huh? What you got, kiddo? I really like Jason trying to be a cool edge man. Trying to snake it up with his voice. I'm Buster. Yeah, I love torturing people. I'll torture the fuck out of that one guy. What's his name? My bro Riley? I don't care. I'm just that hard. Did I mean... As in a badass, or as in I am literally erect. That's up. That's up to you, buddy. Yeah, I'm Foster. I carry a bow and arrow because I'm like a Hawkeye from the Avengers. The yeah, Hawkeye was always my favorite. This bit will keep going until I stop it. You're at my mercy here. Damn it. The bunker, man.
shit. Less good, less good. God. Okay, that guy with the sniper rifle is a big problem. Time to unplug Hoyt's phones. Hello, Sam. In order to halt the communication between the private I really love how polite that hello is. Pass through the bunkers underneath. C4 placed on the struts will be the only way. It is the only way. The fuel depot can wait. I will come pick you up. We'll save some C4 for that big metal door blocking the bunker entrance. Yeah. This must be a restricted area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. And the dudes with the, uh... Yeah, the heavies are actually kind of a problem as well. Sweating my ass off. Sweating my ass off. That's a pirate. That's not a privateer. He's also dead. Alright, this is what I should have expected. But as I said, the uh, difficulty here has not been bad at all. Like, it's a little harder than average, but other than that, it's really not too serious. Okay, really, why are they all shouting that? The fact that the uh, longbow is still an instant kill, even on this difficulty, is kind of amazing. Like, this thing is nearing game breaking. Also, stealth kills are always still going to be instant kills anyway. Interesting. They had archery arrows in there. I've been waiting to get a nice bow. I don't really live in an area where I can hunt a lot, but I've been meaning to learn. I wanna, um, I wanna like hunt my own food and stuff. There we go. There's that problem solved. Painted his wagon nice and good. From who, sir? Just protected you, fucking assholes. Yeah, I can probably just stab this guy, huh? This is the this is the one. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, XP is now worthless to me because I'm at the point where no enemy will give me anything besides money. And I've bought everything in there is to actually Explosive buy in the game. Explosives will do the trick. He's heading for the bunk. He's heading for the bunk. Jason Brody, my element is murder. Just happened. Uh oh. That isn't good. Oh, that's less good. Okay, there goes one of them. <laughs> Where is your cover indeed, sir? Do 
Dude, you were standing in flames. This is embarrassing for them. They must feel really bad. Jason Brody's like, what, 27? He's not even in his 30s. Alright. Jason happened, dude. His reputation is getting really ridiculous. See, so yeah, with this thing, you can gun down a, uh, a heavy really easily. That computer's evil, too. I would expect that one of these would have, like, the, uh... Would have, like, computer chips on them, but I already have all the computer chips. That was a really uninspired, uh, collectible as well, because... One of the things is, is that computer chips only spawn at certain, um... Outposts. But if you're gonna 100% the game, you're gonna get all the outposts anyway. So you're just gonna get the computer chips unless you forget one by accident at a certain outpost. It was kind of clever that they, uh... Attempted to slow me down by throwing barrels at me. That was actually kind of smart. I like that. Where's this red dot on my map, though? Oh, that guy. There you are. If I would have won... <laughs> Man, so this is apparently like the most realistic game mode. These privateers should feel really bad for themselves. Like, an untrained man with random gun is just churning through them. Like, there, there's a few things where I've had to retry a lot, but, like, most of these have not been, like, crazy hard. I think that guy might have been clipped into a wall downstairs, which is why I didn't see him. That's everyone, huh? They're all gone? Wow. This is just really embarrassing. And like, you know I'm just gonna get right up to Hoyt and do a QTE and he's gonna die. To have zero bars, Hoyt. Damn, that's it. The C4's in place. Where are you? The cavalry is coming, my friend. These guys look like like my dad's ghost recon create a character. Is anyone up here? Oh. I always love the escalation of of melee combat where it just becomes shotguns. Like I could also one hit kill these dudes with Oh fuck. Try to be fancy. I was gonna say I could kill those guys with melee, but it's just faster to just shoot them all with my like super super boss Bryant shotgun. And I've also got the extended mag on it, so like, every time I reload, it's mostly just for the convenience of not having to do it for really long later. Because I can shoot for quite a while with this thing. Zero bars, Hoyt. Sam, that's it. The C4's in place. Where are you? The cavalry is coming, my friend. Defensive explosives until I get there. And then 
See, I'm practically giving them a choice on whether they want to, like, die by grenade or die by gunshot. And see, like, here, there's not very much strategy involved because it's just a shootout. That ought to be fun. You know, I sincerely doubt that that rando has taken out tougher guys than me. See, the issue is that I'm just having trouble hitting all these fucking guys. Is that a... sure is a helicopter. Sam, get down here, fucker. See, what is this, what What are these guys' plan now, you know? What are they gonna do? No step, keep away. All right, big finish. Wow. I can handle it. Nice. Jason. Dennis, I found my brother. He's alive. What about Hoyt? I have a plan to kill him. He has my brother. Riley needs my help. Jason, you are a warrior of the Rakiat. Let go of your past. This ties to your family. He's my brother. Remember, we are your family now. You've known us for what? At least eight days? Honestly. That shit of like, hey, you're not allowed to have family anymore, is such bullshit. And also, he didn't even ask Jason if he wanted to be in the Rakyat. He just put the tattoo on him. Tatao, sorry. And... And that was, that was it. Like, hey, because of the choice that I, a stranger, made for you, you're not allowed to have family anymore. Also, he's, this whole thing is like, I found my brother and I have renewed motivation for killing Hoyt because I thought he killed my brother and his lapdog killed my actual brother, actually. And also, I think that I can save my brother by killing Hoyt. No, Jason. Like, the Jedi are so full of shit. Um, I'm gonna use this moment to, uh, to complain, rather, about Star Wars. But, like, the Jedi's whole thing of, like, can't have, s like, can't have kids... So stupid. Because, like, yes, love and other relationships can be a distraction, but it can also be a motivation. Especially in a very fictional Star Wars... Uh, ex especially in a very fictional universe like Star Wars. Also, Jedi aren't allowed to love and have, like, romantic partners, but they are allowed to have friends. Which isn't actually that different. Because there have been times when Jedi get all cut up because... You know, their friend dies. But they're like... Yeah, the same thing could happen if you had a relationship, though. If you two were fucking, then that would be... Oh, that's off the table. That's, that's against the Jedi Order. It's not in the Jedi Code. little troll bridge down here. Where am I going? It doesn't actually give me a thing of, like, how far away I am. 
guess I'll go here. Alright. Also, I don't think there's actually a rule to stop the Jedi from having sex, just from having kids and relationships. But everyone assumes that includes sex, even though that's a very, like, Catholic way of thinking. One of the things about Star Wars is that it always had this, like, very New Age philosophy, kind of. Tools of the trade? Party favors. I've been waiting to light this place up, as we Americans say, for a very long time. Sin. You're American? Yeah. My father was in the Navy SEALs. I was born when he was stationed in Texas, and then he was relocated back to Deutschland. Oh, Uncle Sam. I get it. Yeah. One of the founding fathers, I see. <laughs> you might want to look that up. Forget it. Let's put some candles on this cake. Oh, man. Sam's the best, I'll be honest. Like, of all of the, like, party members you essentially get in this game, I don't like any of them except for Sam. Alright, let's party. <laughs> oh, this ought to be good. Oh boy. That guy's on fire. Whoa, it's actually going up now? Okay. Oh, here we go. Well, what if I just leave you out here, Sam? Sorry about your lack of Blitzkrieg, but this is going to be a stealth mission. Oh god, Flame Grill Jason. Okay. This mission's gonna be tricky. I can already smell it. Um, there might be a cut in the middle of this mission. Because I can already, like, I've got all these things to fucking deal with. I've got all of this shit going on. Oh man, this might not be good. Uh, so yeah, I might have to cut here and come back at the start of the next episode. Okay, where is it? It's in here. Okay. Sam's health is still full though, so that's good. Oh man, can you get from one to the next? Let's watch as if fireworks. <laughs> I love how absolutely tumbled those guys got. So yeah, like I uh, I mentioned earlier on that like I should try to not be like totally defined by a certain weapon. But, like, this fucking gun, this thing has carried me for the entire game. Like, as soon as I got it, this thing carried me after that. Like, it's three clicks and it kills the toughest enemy. And anything lower than that will die in one shot. Like, it's a problem solver. And let's be fair here. I'm on the hardest difficulty.
Okay, that was a fluke, but only because, uh... There he goes. Ooh, we got a fresh jacket, too. Please stop shooting me. Jason! Oh, man. Okay, I'm starting to get it, though. Sam, are you going to be good? Because I don't know if I can reliably keep you alive. At the very least, I have a checkpoint here, so as long as I can get this one down, then Sam will be dead, and Sam dies after that, sorry, then it shouldn't be a problem. Sam Becker is fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe we'll get an automatic out? Sure control burst and all that shit, right? right so Sam, Sam should be able to deal with all of that crap behind him. If a heavy shows up or someone with any sort of accuracy, that might be a problem. Okay, that's a problem solved. Anyone else? Yes, there was. Okay. Master of throw and knife. Actually, wait. Let's get out the automatic, and then let's just blitz this barrel here. Bring it back down. You might be able to hear me, uh, hear me madly clicking in the hopes that I can... What happened? He didn't give up. Am I supposed to aim for the head a little more? That makes sense. Or maybe they're finally getting an armor upgrade. I haven't... Um... And remember all that time that we had to hear Voss say, Jason Brody's nutsack? Michael Mando's a good actor, but, like, he puts such a weird emphasis on that phrase. Okay. Bring up my automatic. God, that was a really bad line read. Hold E to gather Redendron. What happened there? Who oh boy. Man, is this going to be the last episode? I'm bleeding. Okay, dealing with the guys outside is good. But maybe we can... Oh, Sam's taking hits. Okay, and then we go outside and deal with these guys. I love how that clipped through the wall to kill him. Okay. Reload the gun, Jason. Wow, I just got stuck there and I couldn't do anything. All, right, all we've got is five missions. I kind of expected to go through four of this one and then four the next time. Um, so maybe I will be able to finish this mission. Somehow that guy also died. Okay. 
what's happening. Jason, I need you to reload this, and I need you to not blow it as well. Like you did. There you go, Jace. I should really get that grenade launcher. Maybe that's what'll rock for the last few missions. Alright, now I just need to keep Sam alive until then. Oh boy. Excuse me, everyone. And there's a checkpoint. And then I gotta run my ass into here. Oh, man. Okay, that's three, though. That's three. I can do it. It can be done. I'm chewing through this mission, you know? Not, I'm not blazing through it. I'm chewing. The mills of God do not grind quickly. They grind finely. Okay, so that was probably, yeah, that's probably a problem. Sam, you're gonna be good over there? Sam's good. You better run! Oh, fuck, right, shit. Okay, so yeah, here's this annoying thing. If you uh, open the wingsuit and then hit a wall, no matter what your velocity is, you will die instantly. Yeah, that, that works. Oh, I had a I had a I had a bucket of uh, bullets there, huh? Am I hitting this fucking guy? I have failed you, he says. Okay, Sam being alive is definitely becoming problematic here. Maybe that'll stop Sam from dying? Oh, I'm fire resistant, that's right. I love the subtle implication that Jason is like physically blowing on the fire to try to put it out. Okay. Let's see if I can't get a little... Tactical information. So, for anyone who's trying to, who's going to try to play this game on hard mode, it is shocking how effective the slide is. Um, silence weapons aren't amazing. Amazing, they're okay. The main thing is that they're a little quieter, and enemies can't track you and use them, but they definitely still hear you. And if they already have an idea of where you are, then they'll figure out pretty quick where you are. You're dead, man, says soon to be dead, man. Who also doesn't know shit about fuck, since he's shooting at Jason Brody, the god of war. Okay, well. Oh, that's... Goat toes. Oh. 
Man, I was trying to not have to reload. That sucked. <sighs> and I know that the longer I go here, the shorter the last episode's gonna be. Actually, wait, Sam, can you deal with that? Wow. That was pretty effective. That was a stock explosion sound. I heard it. Can't hide it. Man. Sam, what the hell, dude? Actually, you know what? That's probably a good place to cut it. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Far Cry 3. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, the next one's going to be the last one. So, goodbye.